Welcome to the series where you cute little family games. Creature Comforts, the other one, and then now this one. Transmissions was the other one. Let's review it. Not the transmissions, but this one. So this is the review for the board game Flamecraft, the good and bad about it. By the end of this video you will know this cute little game is for you, it's not that little, but it's cute. We have six burning questions that we will answer in this video, but before we do that, Yanis, what is this game all about? It's about dragons crafting flames, yo! <laughs> okay, we went there. <laughs> you, you started. <laughs> what did I do? You were like fast what rapping. Did I do? No. You were like da, 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 da. That's like rapping, no? Now, if you were wondering what is rap, well, it turns out that was rap. In this game, you are a person who can talk to dragons. And you're asking these dragons to help out around the town to produce things, enchant things, and score you reputation, aka victory points. You win exactly by doing that, earning reputation points. You fulfill enchantments, and when you fill enchantments, you also get reputation points, as well as sometimes I can give you a resource oh, and thanks. then get victory points. And last thing, you can use specific uh, dragons. Fancy dragons. Fancy dragons to get extra points at the end of the game or in the middle of the game when I fulfill their quests. On your turn, you're gonna take your dragon and you're gonna send him to a shop. Then you can do one of two things. You can either enchant or you can gather. With the gather action, you get resources. You check what resources are drawn there in the shop as well as on the dragons that are there. You can play one of your dragons from your hand, place a dragon with the similar icon there and you get a bonus there. And then you can fire up a dragon. You basically can draw cards or do different things what the dragons let you do. And the last thing, yeah, there are sh some shops that are more special shops and you can use that shop's ability. So that's about it. Mostly the gather action will get you more resources because you are gathering things. Or you can enchant. When you decide to enchant, you pick one of the enchantments that matches the icon of the shop that you are in. You have to pay the resources listed and then you're gonna mostly get reputation, which are the victory points, and maybe some other bonuses as well. And that essentially ends your turn. And that essentially ends the rules explanation. It's that simple. <laughs> it is very simple. You get simple. resources and then use those resources to get enchantments. Or fulfill your fancy dragon needs. Because they're so fancy. fancy dragon needs. So who will you get this for? Two, one. Just look at it. I mean, look at the box. Look at all of things no, no. here. Look at the box. Look at the box. Look at it. Look at it. And you know, if it's for you, if you like the cute designs, then it's just as cute inside. There's a bunch of stuff. It won't disappoint you. Look at everything here. There's tons of choices, tons of things to do. Just look at it. Are you interested? It's probably for you. I wrote down that your friends that you want to become, that you want them to... What did I write down? Your friends who you want to become... Yeah, that's I knew what I ran down. Your friends who you want to be... What the hell? I'm just gonna read it. Your friends who you want to become gamers. So what I meant was, you have friends, okay? Yeah. And you want Adopted, them to become okay. gamers, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. You get them this game. Because this game is fun for everybody. But I think this is a cute game that can get you thinking about games that have more rules depth. and depth. Yeah. Let's see what are the best three things about this game. Can you hear those little screams? Yeah. Those are the screams of the letters dying when you're killing them. Listen. That's, that's there like... <laughs> or actually it's like... <laughs> yeah. My third best thing about this game is going to be simple rules. Because they are simple. You essentially take your dragon, you put it in a shop, and you do one of two things. And that's it! Just one or two things. You either gather resources or you pretty much suspend resources. Simple. Rules and length. I added length to it as well. Because of those simple rules, it's quite quick. I played it with three people as well as five people. Both felt quick and easy and simple. Not a lot of downtime. My next best thing is going to be replayability. It's just very different every time I play. For example, my favorite fancy dragon is Chonkers. And I've only got him once so far. I want chunkers again in my hand. Each time you fill up a shop, a new shop's gonna pop up in the city. They're always different and it feels like, yeah, you're playing the same game, but you're doing totally different things. Third best thing is uh, town. I really enjoy the town in general, this whole system. The theme really 
works here in this well, basically Euro game. The way you upgrade the shops, which if you place a dragon, that shop now is cooler when you enhance the shop. Everybody now wants to go there and the uh, kind of town lights up, not just from the dragons, but from the shops and everything is just lively. Feels good, looks good. Yeah, and there's sense of progress. You start out with just six shops and the basic dragons, and by the end of the game, this town is full of shops and full of dragons. You have a ton of resources to use. It definitely feels like a cool progression because you have more stuff than you started with. Well, then I'm gonna jump to my first spot as well, which is do good, feel good game. Whatever you do, you do good. Get something for yourself, as well as a lot of times you give something to others, or as we just said about the town's progress, you upgrade the town. Whatever you do, you really, really do good and feel good with everything. That kind of comes down to my first one, which is death. So, for example, creature comforts. <laughs> so did that sound like that? <laughs> that sounded like that. Death. Didn't you play the option where they die after a while? As a gamer, for me, there are a ton, ton of choices to do. Yes, they, on this board? There, there, there's a lot of choices to do. <laughs> yeah, but the, the, what, 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 See, it's what is death. it? It's death. Death? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna say death, okay? Death. death. Yeah. And then this word yeah. is death. No! <laughs> death? <laughs> That's what I said. No, you didn't. Okay. It's, it's easier for you. Thank you. So, so this gameplay of this game is really deep. So many things to do and choose from, and it always feels like I'm doing the best I can, yet I didn't think I did the best I can. For example, the previous two cute games in our series were just, I'm not gonna say shallow, but they were just too straightforward, I guess. They were super cute and amazing looking, but the gameplay itself was just, eh, didn't have a lot of death. Closer. Death. No. Why this game might not actually be for you? OP moves. Uh, from time to time, you will get a turn uh, which will feel like pff, what just happened? And somebody will get 20 points, victory points, points what? in one turn. Yes, absolutely. Impossible. Easy. What can happen is you fulfill an enchantment that gets you like 9 points. Then there is like this special power that you can use and then get extra points. Then you maybe get money somewhere and get extra It's just not OP, it's a family game. It should yeah. have wild turns where somebody's like, Oh, look at that, I drew this uh, card accidentally that gives me a ton of points. Or, well, this is not going to be fulfilled, this game. That's what family games are all about. And some of these store powers as well are, are so super powerful that the next person or next two people that will go there will have super awesome it's powers. Bad. Especially if you want you play with more like gamers as well. Exactly. Everything you should play Ark Nova. You know what's the title of the section? Why this game may not be for them. Exactly. So I'm not saying that's necessarily a bad thing. I'm just saying that it is there. Fine. These I just uh, don't agree that it should be so high up. Yeah, sure, whatever. Yeah. Do whatever you want. Pronounce that's, words as you want. That's Put tiles everywhere you want them. But for some other people, there might be too much depth. <laughs> anyway, when I taught this game first time to gamers, and I go, so that's the rules. Your turn. And that's even before there are like 10 different stores on the board and different combos and different enchantments. So it kind of gets harder and more options are opened as you play. Yeah, I agree. And that's actually another thing. Too many stores. You just mentioned it. Especially at the end of the game, new stores open up. You already have the strategy, what enchantments you will do. But suddenly a new store opens up on the far side of the table. And you're like, yeah. do I want to check it out? But maybe it's too good. Ah. Tons of things there, which is kind of awesome, but a bit too much. I would be fine with 10 stores. My last thing actually is going to be almost out of the board. I'm not a huge fan of deluxe versions. I do like them, but most of the time I will admit that they are not necessarily needed. I feel in this case, the deluxe does add. And on the account of that this is an eye candy game for non-gamers. And if you can afford, I think you should go for it. It's just cosmetics. It's totally fine with the basic components as well. It's gonna be just as fun. Same amount of death. Never Poor dragons that. keep dying all the time. <laughs> Let's move on to how long is the honeymoon then? Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. You'll find time for it. It's right next to Seven Wonders Architects and Longshot Dice Game. It's definitely staying in the collection. 
and it's definitely something that I can easily get out and play pretty much so with anyone. This is definitely the toughest one of all three but I feel that it's still as accessible as any of those two and depending on the amount of time I have I might go for this if I have less I'll go for those. It's one of those games that you will always find occasion why to pull it out. Yeah. As we said almost everybody uh, who looks at it and likes the visuals will also like the gameplay. It's that simple, it's that polished. Everybody will find a situation where they need like a quick game that has depth. Thanks. But what is the best alternative? One. Creature Comfort. Oh, that's the first game in our series of cute games. Yeah, I think if you loved uh, Creature Comfort and tried it out, then you will absolutely love this one. Uh, the other way around, Creature Comfort is a bit, is a bit more fiddly. Yes. yes. I feel like it also is more unique than this one. Very cute animals, very cute illustrations, very cute everything. So if that was level 1, then this is level 2, and this one here is level 3, which is Everdell. A cute worker placement game, the rules are a bit more complex, but I also feel like I'm gathering stuff and then spending them stuff of, well, isn't that a description of any Euro game, right? This is the next level for that. But what is the final rating? You'll find out in the next segment after these messages. Please support us on Patreon, battery is not included. Three, two, one. Fantastic. Yes, it definitely is fantastic. Not necessarily a must have because uh, how many cute games can you have, right? Well, this is the best one. You know? This is definitely best one. So far from all the cute games that we reviewed, this is something that I actually want to keep in my collection. I think e e when you buy it, you'll be super happy about it. Yeah. All in all, it's a fantastic bundle minus even the deluxe part of it. This game gets one thing right, and that's managing the looks of it and the gameplay of it. Did you say deluxe of it? Yeah, maybe. That's fantastic, that's lovely, and it's interesting to play. It's replayable for sure. Tons and tons of good things to say about it. Fantastic game. So this was our review for the board game Flame Crapped. Uh, crapped. <laughs> Crap. Flame Crapped. Crap. <laughs> you know no if this game is for you. And uh, there's only one thing left to do. Yes, uh, you have to visit the Patreon shop and uh, use your dragon power to support us. If you can't, we will still totally be glad if you like uh, this video or subscribe to our channel. Anyway, thank you for watching. And see you next time.